Hey guys, I'm Sonia from Nate. Today we're going to talk about cycle time and why it's important that your team monitors the cycle time schedule flow. Cycle time is the total time any task remains in progress. It is the elapsed time from the moment your task is put in progress to its completion. Each dot on the cycle time scatter plot represents a completed task from your Kanban board. The horizontal axis at the bottom shows your project timeline, while the vertical axis on the left indicates how much time it took to complete that task. You can set your timeline to display either days, weeks or months. The color of each dot corresponds to the label of the card on your Kanban board. By hovering over a dot, you will reveal all tasks completed at that point as well as their completion date and cycle time. Click on the dot for a detailed overview of how much time that task has spent in each process state. Let me quickly show you how to track lead time with the cycle time schedule plot. Lead time is the total time task spent before the work is released. It consists of both the time a task has stayed in the to-do list as well as the time it remained in progress. You can easily track your lead time by checking the to-do box under lists in your filter section. Cycle time can be very useful in assessing your performance and defining service level agreements. It enables you to make accurate, data-driven forecasts. The dotted horizontal lines are called percentile lines. They determine the estimated completion time of a single task and the probability of that commitment being met. For example, the 85th percentile indicates that 85% of the tasks have been completed within 28 days. This means you can commit that any future task has an 85% chance of being completed in less than 28 days. When you're forecasting delivery times in both your stakeholders, ask them what kind of probability they would be most comfortable with. We recommend you start with the 85th percentile when defining service level agreements. Another great advantage of the cycle time schedule plot is that you can forecast cycle times for specific types of tasks. Simply filter by labels on the right to see the cycle times and the probabilities for the different types of tasks. This helps you keeping track of how long your regular tasks are taking to complete, as opposed to urgent tasks and emergencies, for example. Finally, you can make use of our advanced process metrics at the top of your graph. This summary allows you to see your cycle times and probabilities for each process state at a glance. For example, we can see that 85% of our tasks have spent less than 8 days in development and less than 10 days in testing. Pay attention to these metrics and use them to evaluate your improvement over time. Look for patterns in your data. Gaps and outliers are red flags indicating issues in your process. If you notice clusters of dots along your plot, enable Zoom View to single them out. You can find out more about the cycle time scatter plot and other data visualization tools by Nave on our blog at getnave.com. Join me in the next video to explore how to use cycle time histogram to optimize the efficiency of your workflow.